Hey bunnies, in this video I'm going to be talking about my hair. I'm going to be showing you how I curled my new bob today. Okay? Alright, so first thing. The first thing I did was make sure that my hair was properly detangled using my paddle brush. Okay? After your hair is detangled, I went ahead and I took my Sebastian Shaper, which I know is kind of hard to sheet. She. It's kind of hard to see the can um, against the white water, the white light shining in the front. But this is the original formula. I'm like almost done with it already. And I took my Cortex 4-in-1. Uh, this is the second smallest size. This I think is the 1 inch. It's not tapered at all. It's 1 inch from base to tip, from barrel to end, from barrel. Along the entire barrel <laughs> is one inch, okay? And then I took this and I curled my hair all over. I did it in about one inch sections and I held the curl for 10 to 20 seconds. In the beginning of the video, you'll see that I separated this chunk of hair right here in the front and then I curled the rest of my hair pretty much just like a regular, you know, wrap it around and it created these loose waves, okay? Now, after I had curled, after I finished curling my entire head, um, all along the back, along the sides, I went back to the front, and instead of wrapping it, like twisting it around like I did with the rest of my hair, like how you normally do to create the waves, I created kind of a curl by leaving the hair flat on the iron. So while I'm doing it, the hair is completely smooth, and that's what created the curl instead of a wave, so that I could have sort of... Um, a little you know flow going right here instead of curls all over my head which is not bad either if you wanted to go for that but I decided to do this one instead just for you know to look a little bit more polished in a sense even though it's still kind of messy and frizzy which I do absolutely love if you haven't noticed by now I like my hair to look um, not too perfect not too polished not too put together but at the same time look like you know i kind of just left the salon sort of if that makes any sense yeah yeah i spent a lot of time to make it look like i didn't spend any time at all that's the look i was going for yeah <laughs> okay anyways now after i finished curling it before i combed it out or anything i took the sebastian shaper again spread it all over the hair just to set the curls and then when everything when my hair was dry not dry cool <laughs> when the hair cooled down from the heat i took my fingers ran my fingers through the hair fixed the front i also took my hicks edge control which i think i put away now hicks edge control the one in the white um, the white tub and I put that along my edges <sighs> still having a love-hate relationship I really want to love it um, applied it maybe I shouldn't have used my brush on it but then even if I didn't use the brush the, the it would have went away this is not the video for that okay so apply the Hicks edge control all along my edges the hairline all that good stuff and then voila this is the finished product absolutely love I'm about to take my boar bristle brush now and just brush down all the flyaways and that is it girls that is your hair that is well that's my hair um, there's no science behind it nothing serious just hairspray um, one inch curling wand and you're good to go. I don't comb my curls out. I just use my fingers to pull the curls apart. And um, I'm sorry, I was, I was looking away. And that is it. If you have any questions at all, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll definitely try my best to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace sign and kissy face. Bye.